I made a, a very open offer just a couple of weeks ago to the First Minister to come here and give a statement to this Parliament on the issues engulfing his party, the party of government here in Scotland. It, it was a genuine offer at First Minister's Questions Time for the First Minister to put on record uh, his point of view, uh, his answers uh, and indeed his responses to crucial questions that remain unanswered weeks into this Sorry, saga. But the fact is, there are and remain serious questions to be answered. Now, the First Minister seems quite happy to answer these questions outside the chamber. He always stops to speak to the press to give his views on a whole host uh, of issues. And as a, a, an opposition leader, I, I want to see that continue because he's only, I think, been beaten by Colin Beattie in his attempts to provide no more press stories by then answering uh, the press and providing us with plen plenty uh, of nuggets and, and press stories going forward. So if the First Minister is happy to give those answers to the press just a few metres uh, from this chamber, why is he not happy to come in here to answer those questions. Not just uh, is he unwilling to answer the questions in this chamber, he's unwilling to even attend today to respond to these points. And there are so many questions, uh, Deputy uh, Presiding Officer. Uh, for example, how is the supposedly ring-fenced India F2 funds raised through Ref Scott and Yes Scott spent? How was that money spent? Why did the party's former chief executive, Peter Murrell, give the SNP a six-figure loan? And when will that loan be repaid? Was this loan a consideration in the decision not to suspend Peter Murrell, not to suspend Colin Beattie and potentially any other MSP currently serving in this parliament who may find themselves uh, arrested by the police? Why was the unused uh, motorhome kept at uh, the home of the former First Minister, uh, uh, Minister's uh, mother-in-law's home? And why were members of the SNP's Finance and Audit Committee refused information on the party accounts? So we have several senior members in government and in the SNP in the chamber today. There's a flavour of some of the questions we would like to put to the First Minister. In his absence, can any single SNP MSP answer those questions? Silence. Silence. We've got the Deputy First Minister of the Government, the Deputy Leader of the party here in Scotland, and no answers to very basic questions. Basic questions that are being asked by our constituents and members of the public uh, across uh, the country. Now, I think it's really important that we have transparency at the heart of government and we have a governing party that is willing to answer these questions.